Hello, 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 dreamers, and welcome back to Dream Queen by Perla. As always, guys, uh, thank you for all your love and support. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing to the channel. And if you haven't done so, I encourage you to do so. It helps with growing the channel, getting the video out there for more people, as well as keeping me accountable. For personal readings, all that information can be found down below in the description. Um, Sagittarius. Um, this is your reading and remember guys these are general readings so only take whatever applies and leave the rest uh, we have habits right yeah habits Th there's something when it comes in regards to habits there's certain habits um uh, that, that you're being asked to really um address that really need changing that either need changing or need fine-tuning now when it comes to that uh, don't don't try and change everything at once uh, start small so that the mm, so that the progress can be continuous, right? So, and this is just an example, guys, right? If you're trying to eat healthier, it's like, do not change your entire um, diet. And I mean diet as in the form of what you eat, right? Not no crash diets or anything like that, right? What you normally consume. So let's say you don't want to go ahead and change that dramatically to the point where you don't recognize what it is that you're consuming. Because when you do that, there are certain withdrawals that you have from certain sugars, from caffeine, from a lot of different things, right? And then the thought that you're not able to consume these things can drive you mentally crazy, right? They, they can cause um, a lot of chaos. So if, if you start to just swap out one thing a week or one thing every couple of days, the the, the changes in those habits become, because they're so gradually, you don't notice them as much and then you don't miss those things and in the long term you have more success with staying with the new habit um but there is a sense here of needing to commit whenever you're trying to change any habits right so again this can be a habit of like when you wake up a habit when it comes to your your spirituality a habit when it comes to your romantic life a habit when it comes to your career or your your finances or whatever it is there needs to be consistency and in order for you to go ahead and do that you have to take a really good look and be completely honest with yourself what habits are damaging at this moment what habits are causing a lot of the setbacks that you feel that you're going through because a lot of the times we want to t we tend or we want to go ahead and blame outside circumstances but remember everything that is going on around us is a reflection of what's going on within us so you have to go ahead and really be honest with yourself and get yourself on track. A lot of you were on track and something happened, whether it was the holidays or maybe um, there was an injury, there was some type of emergency, and then you didn't know how to bounce back into the good habits or balance i shouldn't say good habits into the habits that you had started um and you're being asked uh, to really try your best to get back on track right get back on track look at what is no longer serving you what is hindering you or what is causing more damage than good right so like let's say if you're going to start a medication right there's always side effects and it usually is like okay do the side effects outweigh the benefits and for a lot of you these side effects these habits that need to go away do not outweigh the benefits right because they're not bringing anything instead they are taking from you so let's go ahead and let's pull out a love energy card now this can be any type of relationship romantic platonic spirituality yourself your goals your desires your dreams i am using the dark mirror deck <clears throat> addicted number 11 addicted there, there are certain habits that um, you're addicted to, um, whether, again, and it doesn't, have, doesn't necessarily have to be about food. It can be you're addicted to, you're addicted to cigarettes, you're addicted to alcohol, you're addicted to sugar, you're addicted to sex, you are addicted to gambling, you are addicted to whatever it is. But there, there is something that, um, you, you, it, it almost kind of feels like if you start to change it, it almost feels like you're losing a part of yourself. So if you're going through anything like that, that seems to that extreme, then maybe seeking counseling or maybe seeking some type of support group to go ahead and help you, um, maybe something that that may that you may benefit from. To be honest with you, 
So let's go ahead and let's pull out your closing message because your your message is pretty straightforward, guys. Um, those habits that that addiction needs to go. Bye bye. Alrighty. And, and again, when we talk about habits, when we talk about addiction, it doesn't have to be just in the physical, right? An addiction can be a negative thought pattern. An addiction can be a self a dialogue to yourself, right? Um, it can be the uh, being pessimist, um, being pro uh, being a procrastinator, right? Anything that is not serving you is what you have to pay attention to. So let's go ahead and let's pull out an oracle card for your closing message. Give me one card, spirit. All right, cauldron, number 10. Bewitching, yes, it be. Blink, blink and you shall see. A bubbling desire left in the brewing rain. So again, you're you're being asked to see, right? So so when, when you're cooking something or when you're 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 putting um whatever you want to call it, a spell, whatever it is, right? You you're looking at all the ingredients. You're looking to see what what works with it, what doesn't, what like you know, like I I'm just thinking about like when you're cooking, right? What seasoning goes like with fish, what seasoning goes with steak, what seasoning goes with, with certain vegetables and things like that. Like how do you bring out uh, the the flavors, right? Right? out of out of the veggies out of out of you know whatever it is in, in a natural form right without adding all of this artificial things right so then this is kind of like what you're being asked to look at like, how can you bring the best version of yourself out right and allow it to really to really shine w without these these habits that in reality have become crutches and need to be released well, guys, that is all that I have. Sending every single one of you love, strength, and blessing, guys. Take care. Love you all. Bye-bye.